use some self-control and go ahead and not be a selective. Oh, 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 oh you don't want what? that. Oh, you have preferences. Oh, you have standards. Oh, okay, cool. Well, bitch, I got standards too. Well, bitch, I got standards too. And that's what fucking pisses me off. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Myron and Fresh reacting to a TradCon woman shaming Justin Waller on the Whatever podcast. There's gonna be a lot of fun in store for us today. So if you were like dating before, you know, the blow up of TikTok in 2020, whatever, things have changed. And, Social media. And it changes all the- <laughs> Walter with his great fucking input. Social media, guys. Time, and, and it's only been getting worse. It's only been getting worse. Anybody in the chat right now that's out here dealing with modern day women, you guys know exactly what the I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, if any of you guys are in the chat right now and you're dealing with modern women, aka interacting with women in our modern time, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. They deserve less, bro. They're all below us, bro. They all hoes, bro. They all belong in the kitchen making sandwiches, bro. That's basically Myron's uh, views in a nutshell. But these Tradcons have zero clue. They think women are still the same as they were back in the 1950s and they're not. And I'm going to get into some of the reasons they're not here. I took some notes. What's up next? The next one, right? So next, we got a clip here, right? My boy, Justin. I think that's the next one, right? Bills? Justin Waller. Yeah. Keep in mind, Justin Waller has no original thoughts. Okay. He came out of the scene as a puppet for the Tates. Okay. A little fucking backdoor buddy where they just fucking shovel copywriting messages. And he's like, oh, when I was a boy, blah, blah, blah. They gave him a whole fake backstory. His mother outed him and came out and was like, sorry, I've been watching my son's video. Videos and he's just a massive liar. He's been lying to you all. <laughs> then he tries to give dating advice, which is really hilarious because it's way off in left field. Okay, He is not qualified whatsoever to speak on the topic of male-female dynamics, social dynamics, or dating of, of any kind. Oh, but he lifts weights and he wears suits. Who gives a shit? And this girl, Lila Rose, presses him. That's another reason why I put her on uh, on this thing to come in and, and debate. And she does exactly what a bunch of girls do on this podcast. Let's roll the clip real quick. Can I ask you one more question? Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> Fire away, honey. Keep mind, <laughs> real quick. So keep not to keep interrupting here. Justin Waller says to go dance with the fat girl at the club, so the pretty girl will notice. The grocery store. He says talk to the fat girl in the grocery store, so the pretty cashier will notice. Okay, you seeing a pattern here? His advice is to go talk to fat girls. Never do that. He also says that you should always be opening the doors, and he makes his game hinging around opening the door for. Oh, I'll never let a girl open a door, and all all this stupid fucking bullshit. Right. And then <laughs> and then he has other tips that are just complete nonsense. Okay? He has no fucking clue what he's talking about. He has no expertise. His YouTube channel was banned because he was pushing a fucking cult message from the real world onto impressionable young men. And they got him the fuck off of YouTube, which was a, a huge victory because he's just pumping out poison. He's a total moron. Right. He doesn't even make like any kind of good points whatsoever. I interviewed his mother. His mother, <laughs> you know, we later hid the interview, but his mother was like, yeah, he's a big liar. He's been lying to you all he's been deceiving you all blah 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 and real quick i just want to play a short clip where he admits to banging fours he says if a girl has big boobs or a big ass and she's a four he'll bang her out and ruin her for all the rest of the guys because she's tasted a top g you bring a four in here right now with a big butt or big boots bro i'll dinner over that table right there i don't care now she thinks that she's on my level but i just did it because it was a random tuesday and i got nothing to do and so now she thinks that she's up this hierarchy when most of the time the guy that does that would never actually date her and now she won't give the normal guy a shot because she's been with the big boss she's been with the successful guy it's a bunch of bullshit think about how fucking disgusting that is on so many levels and what a retard trying to flex for going and banging force if you have only one place in your heart for one woman or you want to have one woman in your heart i think you said why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her I'm just not wired that way. I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself. <laughs> I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself before I built a steel empire. I started Jay Waller Fitness two years ago and I got about 40 followers. <laughs> and the Tate's hand selected me. They said, hey, stop blowing Sterling Cooper, your roommate who does gay porn. We're going to need you to go read off some copywriter messages since you lift weights and, and wear suits. <laughs> I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself and then I figured it all out. They had him on Jubilee. Where <laughs> or it's supposed to be alphas versus betas and he's classified as an alpha for god knows what reason again 
because he lifts weights and wears suits. That has nothing to do with a guy being alpha or beta. Okay, look at Tate. He's one of the most try-hard guys on the internet, constantly looking for attention, constantly fucking lying. He's claiming to be a billionaire now, right? Even though the Romanian authorities seized less than $10 million. <laughs> He's claiming to be a billionaire now. It's just all a stinking pile of shit. Before we continue with the rest of this, I can help you to show you exactly what to message on Tinder, exactly what to text, exactly how to run your dates, exactly how to close your dates. It doesn't matter if you're a virgin, on a dry spell, out of a divorce. Even if you're getting some results, I can help you get a lot better results with a lot hotter girls very quickly and solve the problem permanently. Okay, we have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. Go book a free call with the link in the description or pinned comment. Well, you're a man of self-control. You, you work out, you do business, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can possess. Who cares that he works out and does business? Irrelevant. Your own, <laughs> your own power and this do not, direct is, it the way you want to direct it. This is not how I am. It's not how I am. I've you tried. think that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. Now he's going to do the posturing and positioning. Uh, just so you know, I'm not triggered by you, girl. Uh, I'm not. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> like, you know what I'm <laughs> Saying, no, you are. You're annoying <laughs> in, in like this goody two shoes type way, and that's fine. <laughs> Brian can't believe it. He's going to have to take off his little leather coat and get a grip for a moment. Uh, I'm going to live my life on my terms. The spike hat chick. She's like, uh, can we finish this up so we can put the lube on the spike and shove it in Mr. Waller's butthole? Unapolog uh, unapologetically. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he's such a corny fuck. Oh, I live my, my my life on my terms, girl. He's allied with all the biggest scumbag pieces of shit in the whole space. Connected all the way through. Anytime there's a scumbag, he's in a picture with him. <laughs> like, across the board. All these guys, ba like, fucking band together. Oh, I live my life on my terms. Okay, cool. Now your YouTube channel is deleted and people are fucking laughing at you because you're a fucking loser. Uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to walk out of here the same man. Wow, let's get a round of applause for that. He told her, yeah, Jay Waller, what up? Here's the thing. Um, for any of you guys that know Justin in real life, um, he's really like that. Um, he's 100%. really like that. This this guy's man's man, extremely successful, extremely masculine, takes care of his wife. She doesn't got to lift a finger, takes care of his family. <laughs> his wife? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is news to me. He's out here slinging all these fucking tips about talking to fat girls in various locations and holding doors. Okay, and reading off different marketing messages. Now he has a wife. Can we see a picture of this wife, please? Anybody has a picture, please email it at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. Uh, takes care of those around him. Um, built up a business, and he's not a fucking influencer. The guy runs a very successful steel company and has made millions upon millions of dollars. He doesn't need social media whatsoever, fucking ever, and I think it's ridiculous that his YouTube channel got taken down. No, it's not. And yours should get taken down too, because you guys run around mocking black people, imitating monkeys. You do Hell Hitler. You do fucking Ku Klux Klan shit. You're all a bunch of corny motherfuckers. Fresh and Fit have been demonetized, and hopefully they will be banned soon as well. There's plenty of ammo to ban them. Really clean, positive content. Oh, yeah. Really clean, positive content. Shuffling millions upon millions of impressionable young men into a cult ran by an accused rapist and human trafficker named Andrew Retard Tate, who's a huge fucking tryhard dork. Don't let the fucking bald head and cigar and the indoor sunglasses confuse you. His half-wit rhetoric. Oh, I am the greatest man of all time, right? And then he's numb-chucking in his front yard like a total fucking dweeb. Jay Waller is just a lackey for the Tates. I called it immediately. He came on the scene. I'm like, this guy's a fucking loser. Taken down right now. Uh, unfortunately, Hopefully he gets it back. He gets it back, but you know. But we'll the see. guy in, in good shape was the visual and athlete. Like, everyone should strive to be like Justin, man. No, they should not. He's a huge fucking dork that has no principles at all, who just reads off copywriter messages, who slangs around a whole bunch of inaccurate information about the dating game while pretending and masquerading to be an es expert. He hangs out with all the biggest pieces of shit scumbags. He's a horrible role model, and it's a terrific thing that his YouTube channel was banned. And Fresh and Fit should have their YouTube ban channel banned as well because they're just causing endless amounts of harm on men that look up to them, okay, for all the wrong reasons. He's like a big bro for me. Like, the guy is extremely, he's a fucking man's man. And here's the thing when you're a man's man, you don't expect- Here's the thing when he when you're a man's man. You can be in bed kissing him, you can be hugging him, you guys can be all up on each other. But if you guys think that's weird, then you obviously didn't play sports and you're probably gay because that's not weird. He's a man's man. Explain yourself to- Okay. Now here's the thing. I'm black belt with dealing with these 304s. So I could easily sit there and do. Th oh, 
Oh, Myron is such a tool. <laughs> Never gets old laughing at it. When he was on the fucking grilling date. Oh, I have a black belt and woman ease. Now he's saying he has a black belt dealing with these 304s. What a corny, stupid fuck. Dude, I'll wear her and let her know what type of time it is. But the thing is, is that Justin doesn't sit there and explain himself to women. Yeah. Okay. Right. It is what it is. Yeah. Because he's too busy talking to all the fat ones. Hey, I'm not wired that way, etc. But here's the thing. Right. If you guys can see here, what the <laughs> someone showed me a <laughs> a leaked DM between themselves and Justin, and they're <laughs> they're like, "How many girls have been with Justin?" He goes, "I'm so busy with pussy that I don't have time to talk about getting pussy. Think about that, G." It's like, shut the fuck up, right? I heard in real life he has zero game. <laughs> you can already tell from his advice that he, he has no idea what he's talking about. But I heard in real life he has zero game, and he's like trying to get tips from Andrew Tate, <laughs> who also has zero game and lies his ass off. He said on a on a podcast recently as a massive lie that he's had over 500 threesomes okay tate is claiming that now and he's a billionaire even though his collective assets are, are worth less than 10 million <laughs> he told me personally they had six million <laughs> he's a billionaire online just in case you guys want to know and he's a super shitty kickboxer but oh uh, he's a world champion okay yeah and <laughs> Tate said on the on the interview that I did with him on my channel is at 450 late count. Okay, that's that's with banging individual girls. Now suddenly he's had over 500 threesomes. Okay, and his brothers know better. Tristan was claiming 700 late count again. They claim perfectly even numbers, which shows they're not counting. And then less than a year later, he was saying over a thousand. Okay, even though he told me he banged like less than 70 girls a year. So these guys are just huge fucking liars. You can't trust them with anything. They'll be in jail soon. But don't listen to Myron like fucking trying to stroke this Justin guy's ego or stroke his cock. I'm sure he's doing quite of that as well. And Justin, who apparently has a wife, was living with Sterling Cooper, who does gay porn, who's in pictures with guys with their cocks out. <laughs> it's like if I had to like go and like write a comedy <laughs> for the manosphere, like I wouldn't even be able to do as good as like the real things that are happening. On a serious note, if you want real help from a real expert to permanently solve all your dating problems, you can get on a free 30 minute strategy call with the link in the description or pinned comment. Right, she did a typical tactic that a lot of these girls say, well, you're a disciplined guy, you have self-control, blah, blah, fucking blah, why don't you go ahead and exert, put self-control with the women, whatever. Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, bitch. Oh my god. What a fucking dork. Hold on a second. Listen here, bitch. You hope you deserve less. Go make a sandwich. Right, that's all that Myron says. And he's pushing misogyny wholesale down all the viewers' throats, okay? Guys watch this shit because they think it's funny and entertaining and stuff like that. But he's pushing hardcore misogyny in every episode. You <laughs> take your self-control and date a guy that's five foot five, makes thirty thousand dollars per year. <laughs> talks like here we go with this again when he speaks to you that's how fresh talks <laughs> and has yellow teeth how about you give that guy a chance because i'm sure he has a great fucking personality you use some self-control and go ahead and not be a selective oh there's tons of guys that come through my programs that are short that are balding that are older etc etc game is the great equalizer it doesn't give you the same advantage as everybody else but it's going to give you extremely good chances you can't change your ethnicity you can't change your height it's going to help you maximize your potential and get lots of dates with lots of high quality women so you need to learn real game oh, 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 oh you don't want that oh you have preferences oh you have standards oh okay cool well, bitch, I got standards too. And that's what fucking pisses me off. Here we go. This is just like his little revenge. This whole show is just his little revenge. Hot girls snubbed him. Hot girls don't like him. He's a huge loser. So he says, well, I'm going to get back at you. I got standards too, bitch. I'll tell you what. I'm going to write a whole book that you deserve less. That blah, 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 blah. And he's literally on these fucking podcasts saying, oh, the girl's only purpose is to make a sandwich. This is what I want you guys to know about how females debate and how a lot of them get try to fucking sit there and shame you. They will sit there and keep their fucking standards high. Look at all the rage and the pent up fucking anger he has towards women. I know people that hang out with him. They're like, he hates women and women hate him. Look at him projecting all his hate for women out to his audience. I want a man that makes this much money, this tall, etc. blah, 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 blah. I want my man in shining our armor and I deserve it just because I got a fucking my name is Lila, right? But if you say, <laughs> well, you know what? I will become that fucking man. I will make that money. I'll become, I will be. For the record, money is like almost 0% of the equation. Unless you're living below the poverty line, it makes almost no difference whatsoever. Unless the girl's a gold digger. They're always stressing, oh, you have to have all this money. No, you don't. Okay, and you can absolutely annihilate and clean up in the game with hardly any money at all. That's a, another myth they per perpetuate. So I will have the whole world know who the fuck I am and be, respect me for the fucking accolades that I've created, right? 
But just like you have standards where you want the best man, guess what? I got standards too. I want the most women. And you should fucking be able to do that shit as a man because you have to bust your ass and life is way harder for men than it is for women. Time to complain. All right, we're going to stop there. This is fucking annoying. He's so fuck. He's like a little bitch whining behind the camera. Hey, hey, women deserve less. Hey, hey, bitch. Hey, why don't you go make the sandwich? Hey, ho, ho. Hey, <laughs> He's so far gone. Okay. I don't know who's tuning into this shit. It's this other little... Uh, carbon copy Myrons who want to be misogynist. They're like, you tell him, Myron. All right, get on a call to actually solve your dating problems. Okay, we have over 1,250 testimonials running the best program in the industry. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. Watch my video on the end screen where Myron rage quits and breaks a coffee mug and flips the fuck out. Make sure you like the video to help the algorithm and make sure you subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My I way. learned how to roll a weed, I didn't roller skate. Nah. Go in the backyard, look at the lake, and I meditate. Yeah. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh, uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.